Good day, folks. My name is Don. I'm here today to demonstrate we're going to be painting a metal gazebo. And there's some steps that the key steps that you have to take in consideration to do a proper job. And the number one is the prep. You know, it's all about the prep. So this gazebo, it was peeling and the homeowner called me and he wanted me to paint his gazebo. Well, there's different steps that you have to take for this. And what I've done is it was some peeling paint, so I scraped it down to the bare galvanized metal where I had to. And then the proper thing to do after that is to take some uh, metal uh, rust primer here and to spray those areas. And I'll demonstrate that now. And just spraying a light coat onto the areas like where I need to do the bare metal areas. So basically I'll do that throughout the gazebo where there's bare metal. So the next step what I'm going to do uh, after I've done that is um, I've cleaned it up. I've given it a very light uh, sanding and also when that was done um, I give it a good cleaning before painting. So I'll show you the tools that I'm using to paint the gazebo. So over here is I got the tray here with I'm using the, the Trem Cloud product uh, paint. And I got the mini roller here, perfect tool for a lot of painting projects that I do. And I'm using the Richard Gooseneck Flexible Paintbrush for this project because to get up on top of the gazebo, it's very, very flimsy. And I don't want to apply any weight when I'm up there. So I'll use an extension pole later uh, in the job and I'll demonstrate how I'm getting up top with the gooseneck. So I'll show you how the mini roller works here when I'm painting. So basically, this is the perfect tool here that I'm using. As you can see, the mini roller gets into every tight spot. It's designed for that, so you don't have to always be using a brush and it takes a lot of time. So the gooseneck is I'm able to get up there tight, as you can see, and just flip it around this side and get right up tight. Now, as you can see up here, I'm able to get to these areas here, no problem. And same thing on this side. So I'll come up and right down to the bottom. And you can see how this is covering very, very nicely. This is a four inch mini mini roller. I call it the Wiz because it gets all over, you know, gets to every angle that you need to get without using a paintbrush. So this is what we're doing here today, folks. And I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, you can give me a thumbs up if you like, and there's a lot more to come. Thank you.